with Action News reporter Catherine Scott. She is in Chester live with more on that stolen police car chase on 95 and the police involved shooting. Good morning. Good morning, Tam. And you heard Matt talking about this. And this is what we're looking at here on I-95 this morning here in Chester. You can see police on the scene, multiple vehicles from Newcastle County Police. And they've been examining that vehicle over there. The door is open uh, for hours now. They've had flashlights out. They've been taking a look at that vehicle, a closer look at it. 95 North closed at exit four for all this police activity. But I want to now go to the action cam, which is live in Milltown, Delaware on Limestone. Road and Milltown Road. This was a scene of an officer involved shooting this morning. There are shell casings in the street. This is around the corner from Kenwood Club Apartments, where this all started around 2:45 a.m. Police responded to a domestic call at those apartments. What exactly happened is unclear, as is the precise timeline here. But police say the suspect stole a Newcastle County Police vehicle and fled. At some point during this, Newcastle County Police opened fire on Limestone Road, and the suspect was wounded. We don't know yet if that suspect was armed. Police say the suspect continued on in that stolen police vehicle toward the Pennsylvania border uh, with multiple accidents with police vehicles along the way. The pursuit came to an end on I-95 in Chester, and those northbound lanes remain closed right now. The suspect was taken to the hospital. We don't know his condition yet, and police remain on the scene here on I-95. Police say 95 North by Tillman will remain closed for quite some time as this investigation is underway, as will Limestone Road northbound and Milltown Road, where we showed you that live picture from before, because as you can see, this investigation is ongoing. We are live in Chester. Catherine Scott, Channel 6 Action News. All right, Catherine, thank you for that.